Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mr. Cygnus. I know it's been uh, quite a long time since I've done an audio commentary. And unfortunately for you guys, today I have some sad news. Um, today indeed will be my final audio commentary. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, uh, you know, the time it takes to play Warcraft and uh, to stay good at it and to do audio commentaries just takes a tremendous amount of time and that's just time I don't really have these days as um, I spend most of my time in school, at work, and trying to work out and have a lady on the side takes up a lot of time. So, unfortunately, uh, one of my passions in life had to give and, unfortunately, I had to decide it would be my Warcraft because you know, everyone pretty much knows that you know you need to study, you need to work, and <laughs> a girlfriend definitely requires a lot of time. And I didn't see myself getting tied down anytime soon, but hey, what the hell, you know? So, um, so that's some unfortunate news. But now that I got your attention uh, on that subject, <coughs> you know, I just wanted to say that, you know, for all the listeners out there who stuck with me for the past year um, and been great fans and very supportive, I just wanted to thank all you guys for uh, always throwing out your support and. Um, listening and I really appreciated it and it was a uh, had a great time doing it and to tell you the truth um, I'm gonna miss it it's just not something I uh, I'm quitting because I got tired of the game or just don't like doing it anymore it's just you know unfortunately when you get to be my age uh, you know certain things require a lot of time and uh, I just don't have as much time to spend on my love of Warcraft 3 as I used to so I'm gonna have to step aside and um I must say that it's been a real pleasure working for WC Replays. Um, definitely the best page out there and definitely the best staff. I mean, I couldn't have done it if it wasn't for everybody else. Um, putting up with all my shit all the time. <laughs> I spent a lot of time, I'm telling you guys, if you guys think I was a joker here in the audio commentaries, you should have seen me on the staff forums. I stirred more shit than the biggest shit disturber there is. I mean, I'm telling you, I was... <clears throat> always been in my free time putting in my two cents here and there and sexually harassing female staff members and yelling at people and having a great time. It was fun. And um, I'm really going to miss it. And uh, I guess at the end of the audio commentary I'll give a few special shout outs to a few of my best friends who've been there and supported me through my uh, staffhood at WCR people I really consider friends, and, um, yeah, that's that, so, um, I guess on to the audio itself, um, today, be because, of course, I haven't actually played any games in the past couple months or so, um, the game you'll be seeing today is going to be played by a, a really good friend of mine, Zerter, um, who plays for Team Ownage. I'm sure you guys know who he is. He also writes those really awesome articles for WCR right now. A really talented player. He's playing um, a level 42 dude named Kraft. Um, the server, I believe, is on Europe, actually. And uh, the treat today is uh, Zerter is actually going to be using a strategy that I was actually currently working on before I you know, decided to step down from War 3. Um, it's actually a uh, pretty crazy strategy involving the Demon Hunter, and uh, I guess being this patch had a huge nerf to Tavern Heroes, um, that really brings out the strength in this uh, this strategy that you guys are going to be seeing today. Um, because you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, Ghoul Garg activity because of the Panda nerf, um, and less fiends, and... Uh, I mean, although this strategy is really awesome versus fiends, uh, you know, uh, there are some counters that in, uh, that could be used if for... Uh, blah, 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 if I can get the words out of my mouth. Um, there's some counters that fiend users can use uh, to counter the strategy you guys are going to see today. And I'll go over that a little bit today. But uh, you guys are really in for a special treat. As this is a very high-level game. Uh, Zerder playing at level 52, I believe, and Kraft playing at level 52. So this is definitely uh, a really cool game you guys are really going to enjoy. And it's also nice, I guess, on another note, to, um, I guess I started out using the Demon Hunter and doing all my audios on Demon Hunter. I guess it only serves its purpose that I should be doing my final audio commentary on a Demon Hunter strategy. So, 
that's kind of a good thing, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. And um, I'm really gonna miss you guys. I really do mean that. And um, you know, it really has been a real pleasure. And most of you guys have been really great out there. And um, I really want to thank you all for listening. It's been been a real joy ride for me. And um, I'm sorry I have to step down. Um, you know, if time permits in the future, maybe I can come back and do the occasional dual audio with somebody. But I don't know how well that would work out, but we'll have to see. Um, I can't make any promises, but, you know, that's probably a possibility. Um, you guys might not see any replays from me, as I will be completely retiring from Warcraft 3. Um, but, you know, I will really miss it. So, anyways, enough with that stuff. Dry your tears. Let's get the replay pause at the one minute mark. Um, hopefully you guys are already there. And um, if not, just pause. And if so, let's get this started. So let's unpause in three, two, one. Unpause. All right, map uh, is indeed no, no wood. And uh, I should probably turn the volume down on this real quick. There we go. So I don't want no background freaking voices or whatever. <coughs> Anyways, um, basically the strategy kind of works out like this. Um, Instead of going Huntresses early on and harassing with the Demon Hunter and Huntress, um, the problem with that is, uh, yeah, early game, you you do get those few hunts out and you can really prevent some, some creeping. But unfortunately in this patch, because a lot more people are going to be go going uh, Ghoul Garg, you're going to see a lot of solo DK, Tech to Straight, Tier 2. You're not going to see a lot of early game creeping. And so unfortunately, if that happens, you're going to have a bunch of Huntress that are just nice targets for a bunch of Gargs. Um, second of all, um, usually if they do decide to early creep, you spend most of your time trying to uh, not get your hero surrounded or not get your first Huntress surrounded while you're harassing at the same time. And sometimes even if you get your second Huntress out, you've got two hunts and a hero, you still have a little bit of a risk of getting your hunts surrounded. So um, if you start out with archers, it's pretty nice if you construct your base the way Zerder has it constructed right here, that you can hide archers behind the uh, AOW and just pound away with your Moonwells and your Demon Hunter. And uh, one archer is basically equal to one goal, uh, ghoul if you uh, micro efficiently. And another thing which is pretty nice, if you do um, if you do go archers first, you can just put them in the back of your base and any early game um, gargoyle harassment will, won't do any good. So um, that's what's also pretty nice about using archers uh, first. So that's something I was starting to do actually, um, is uh, stay away from the hunts first and go with the archers. Plus what's also pretty nice is uh, if you can't really... Uh, for some reason you can't locate your opponent, you can do some pretty fast creeping with your Demon Hunter and um, power level him up as high as you can. Anyways, you'll see Zerder has arrived and scouted out um, Craft Space. Uh, they're doing just basically a little hero ghoul dance right here. Um, probably the best thing to do is just try and scare off that Demon Hunter by trying to uh, obviously show your, you're looking for the surround and basically keep that Demon Hunter away from your Death Knight if you can. And um, what's nice, uh, we will see with that Death Knight, he's looking for a Wisp that, that uh, scouted out his base and he's trying to actually see if he can coil that thing. And also creep at the same time without getting a mana burn shot off on his DK, which is actually a pretty smart move. Um, Zerda right here doing the best he really can at this point, trying to harass as much as possible, but uh, unfortunately he gets his uh, Demon Hunter surrounded. Um, so I guess uh, it's not really worth using the TP scroll to save a, a level 1. Uh, I guess I take that back. <laughs> Maybe it is worth it, you know? Who knows? Personally, I wouldn't uh, use a 350 gold um, town portal to save the Demon Hunter. Um, especially all when your archers are kind of scattered around like that. I would have just uh, gone for the... let my opponent have the kill. But, um... <coughs> But you will see something pretty slick, actually. Um, Zur is going to try and heal up with his Demon Hunter and go ahead and uh, creep out the middle of this map. 
Uh, unfortunately, this is kind of risky. Um, I probably would have waited a little bit longer before I tried to creep out the center of this map. Um, another thing, if he would have let his demon hunter die, he could have gotten it back by now, and he's spending most of this t most of his time uh, just chilling in the middle of this map while uh, the DK's out mass leveling right now. So that's not too good, but hey, what the hell, you know, it doesn't hurt to try something new. So, um, Zord is just continuing to mass uh, archers and, and a demon hunter in the center of the map. He's going to go ahead and uh, take out those ground creeps first. The reason why he's doing that is uh, if you focus on the uh, red drake uh, when there's a healing fountain, it'll take forever for it to die, as you'll see a little bit later. So if you take out the ground creeps, it'll keep your demon hunter um, high enough in level so that you don't have to try and dance him around the creeps. So, uh... Zerter right now, he's trying to lure out that red drake, um, and uh, he's not really doing too slick of a job right now, but that's alright, you know, whatever works. Um, you know, this is a pretty nice move on his part, but I, I really do think it's kind of risky, because, you know, if the DK happened to be trying to creep out those um, goblin merchants, he could run across you trying to power creep, and uh, that would be a nasty little creep still if he was to coil that red drake before it dies. But, you know, got to live a little. Might as well go for a little bit of a risk. This is a pretty nice move. He could have gone for one more archer, though, which would have been nice. Now, now, okay, he does pick up the tome and the mask. Uh, tome is nice. The mask is kind of lame on a demon hunter. But, um, but to tell you the truth, um, unlike what you guys are thinking, you guys are probably thinking he's going mana burn first skill and evade second skill. You will notice later game that um, Zerter does go immolation as a second skill. And uh, the reason being is because uh, immolation really kicks ass for schools. And to tell you the truth, um, evade's a pretty nice second skill, but you know it only really shines at level 2 or level 3. And Immolation plus mana burn can be a really powerful combination. That's something I was kind of working on, you know, towards the time I was retiring for this game. I was working on Immolation, mana burn versus orc, and it seemed to work pretty damn good. But mostly versus undead, it seems to really kick major ass. So if you will notice back at Zerg's base, he is out of Tree of Eternity, and right now you'll be noticing that he is making um, Druid of the Claw. And some of you guys are wondering, why the hell would you go archers and bears versus ghouls and guards? Well, the reason being is, um, yeah, archers are pretty nice versus, versus gargoyles. But um, the real anti-air is actually in the heroes themselves. If you stick an um, orb of venom on the demon hunter and an orb of venom on the panda brewmaster plus breath of fire, um, it's really going to really work very well. Um, and you'll see, because a demon hunter doing that much damage to gargoyles is just, uh, he's all the anti-air you really need. And you will see right now, um, he has level 1 immolation, uh, level 2 mana burn, that's what I would have gone. And it's some really nice harassment. Um, sometimes going Breath of Fire actually first would be pretty nice. Um, he could have gotten an extra ghoul kill right there, but that's alright, you know. It's it's uh, whatever you decide. Um, back at back at Zerter's base, we'll notice he made an ancient protector. It's a pretty good idea, especially if um, you're going to be uh, harassed by gargoyles. Um, dual staff of teleportation harassment, pretty nice. Um, not really necessary, but still pretty nice. It's a lot better if they didn't have a Nerubian tower. But hey, what the heck, you know? Why sweat it? Um, the one, th one thing I did notice that was kind of a, a nice counter to this that undead players could use is being there's a little bit of a boost in Banshee, um, you can actually, if you planned ahead, you could probably use Banshees and try and possess the bears. That'd be a pretty nasty counter. Um, you don't see very many undead players do that because it is kind of risky. Um, personally, if I saw a... Uh, if I saw any production of Banshees, I'd switch straight to Chimera Hippogriff, and uh, that would just put an end to that. But um, but that's something uh, most players who use a uh, a fiend build have a little flexibility to do that. Um, when you're going Ghoul Garg, it's a little harder to switch to Banshees like that. Um, but yeah, you'll you'll see how well this uh, 
strategy works for uh, Golgar. Um, you will notice that uh, Kraft did get an expansion up. It's pretty slick on his part. Um, but actually, you will find how strong this uh, strategy really is um, when uh, you see how it counters uh, that expansion pretty well, even though Zerder doesn't have an expansion of his own. Um, bears are a really powerful tool versus Undead, and um, it wasn't really seen very often, but you guys will see today that even with uh, a few errors upon Zerder's part, that he still comes out on top in uh, many battles in this replay. And uh, you guys will see that a little bit later on. Um, <coughs> it has been a long time since I've done the audio commentary. I'm, I am a little rusty, but I'm sure you guys can understand. Um, this uh, map is pretty favor uh, favorative towards the undead players sometimes who go Golgarg because you can creep and harass at the same time pretty well and uh, force your opponent to uh, use uh, quite a few TP scrolls. You will know Zerder did get his first uh, Orb of Venom on his Demon Hunter. That's a good step in the right direction. Demon Hunter's looking pretty stacked right now. And uh, one uh, other nice thing about the Staff of Teleportation is if you are getting harassed by uh, Gargoyles, all you really have to do is uh, uh, use your Staff of Teleportation back to your uh, main base and you can force uh, an undead player to run. Um, right now Zerder did take out that first tower. Yeah, that's all good, but unfortunately he's, use, he's uh, losing quite a few bears right here. Um, another nice thing about um, about this bear bear dual hero archer combination is because of uh, rejuvenation. If you cast Rejuvenation on your heroes, Undead Nuke is pretty much nullified. And that's the real strength of this strategy. I mean, I will go over it at the end of the audio commentary real quick to give you guys a, a basic overview of the strategy in general. Um, so you guys can understand why it works, even though it seems pretty odd. This is a very strong strategy versus Undead. Um, I mean, what the hell, I'm probably going to have some downtime anyways in this audio. I'll just explain it as I go. Um, basically, basically, uh, because gargoyles do such little damage to ground units, that bears with such a high hit point plus uh, plus uh, rejuvenation just last forever, and ghouls don't even stand a chance for uh, mass bears. And uh, orb of venom is just so strong versus undead that uh, you know it just your your demon hunter becomes like a massive anti air unit. It's like a, just a few hits is going to take out a gargoyle and um, you can just keep rejuvenating and using roar on your on your demon hunter and it's going to work out great. Um, if your opponent oh, excuse me guys if your opponent should choose to go um, to go what the hell destroyers? Uh, here's the thing about destroyers you just take your archers and your heroes and you focus fire the destroyers and maybe get a few hippogriff and destroyers become useless I mean I understand that destroyers do a crap load of damage to bears but your heroes plus hippogriff should be enough anti-air in general to stop that and you'll know when your opponent switching to uh, to destroyers you just scout out his base look for a couple slaughterhouses as soon as you see that drop down a couple of your own um, Look at this. Look at this rejuvenation right here. And look at this. This demon hunter is fighting off like 10 gargoyles by himself. He's forced to retreat. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying. If you notice your opponent's going uh, destroyers, just quickly switch to a couple, one or two uh, Ancients of Wind, and switch to some uh, anti-air, and you can own those up pretty hard. Um, if you are facing some uh, Philbot strategy, when the when they're going like uh, DK, Lich, hit and run, hit and run, just basically play it smart and use a staff of preservation. And if you notice that he's going to try and nuke out a bear, just just staff it back to your base. Staff of preservation kicks ass, and um, it's going to be your best friend versus Philbot users, um, people who like to just run and nuke, run and nuke, and use fiends. Um, bears and Hippogriff will kick the crap out of. Uh, uh, fiends and destroyers, so you don't need to worry about that. 
Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, I used to have a few replays of that, but that was last patch, and uh, it would have been nice to, sh to show you exactly what to do versus people who play like Philbot, as I did have quite a few replays like that. Um, but you guys will get the basic gist. Um, I'm going to leave that up to you guys to play around with. It's very simple, actually. If you see fiends, you just keep going with bears and archers. Just make your early game archers. Continue making bears like you saw in this replay. And then uh, drop down um, one inch in a win and just anticipate that he's going to try and go mass gargoyles and, um, and uh, destroyers, or mass fiends and destroyers. And uh, if you play it smart, use your staff of uh, preservations. Um, and put down and out expand your opponent, you're just going to basically win. Um, even though Graf did have an expansion, he wasn't able to uh, to fend off um, the bears because um, the demon hunter with his orb combined with the uh, panda brewmaster is just too much for them to handle. I mean, it pretty much takes away the nuking abilities that uh, the undead has, even though he didn't have a lich. Um, you know, even if he did have a lich, it wouldn't have done much good if. Uh, if he, uh, well, I lost my train of thought, but, you know, it wouldn't have done much good in general. Um, all Zerder has to do is uh, get his own staff of preservation and just save those bears. Uh, you will see in the uh, other corner that Zerder's dropping down a couple ancient protectors. That's a smart thing to do. I always recommend that versus undead, especially undead players who use gargoyles, to instead build, the, instead of building the tree first, try building the ancient protectors first. Therefore, uh, um, when your tree is about half completed, you will have a couple ancient protectors up to keep uh, harassing gargoyles away. So it's a good thing to do. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh yeah, the Zerder you will notice is switching to uh, dryads right now. Now yes, gargoyles do eat the crap out of dryads, but here's the thing: um, the dryads are for not only dispel but for slowing purposes. Because right now the Demon Hunter is level 5 and the Panda Brewmaster is pretty close to level 3, um, Gargoyles are going to be going down really fast. And if you take away the running ability from the Gargoyles, um, that's going to be a huge problem. Um, so, usually later on in the game when you do establish a, a bit of advantage, like you do see Zerder has right now, that's a good time to start switching to uh, Dryads and start adding that slow into your army. Um, another smart thing to do is if you do notice your one of your heroes is already level five, there's no point in you sticking him in the creeping group. You must also try and power up that that uh, Panda Brewmaster as soon as possible. So that's exactly what he's doing. Basically picked up a nice little talisman of the wild. Um, not really necessary when you have so many bears, but it is it, it is pretty nice if you're in a tough spot. Um, but you know, I might even just sell it. You know, personally, if I pick up that, sometimes I do sell it if I'm going mass bears because, um, you know, it's no point in just adding. Now, you will, now this is what's pretty awesome is um, Kraft did he did something really smart. He did the natural counter to bears, which is frost worms. Um, yeah, destroyers are really nice, but frost worms with gargoyles are just really kick ass, and uh, you, you can't really. Ex ask me to explain why too much, but you know, a couple frost worms with mass gargoyles is just some real kick-ass ownage. Unfortunately, because Zerder has an expansion up, or he might have an expansion up, because uh, now Crafty has found his expansion. I don't know if uh, Zerder's going to TP in or not. Um, Dryads make a nice counter for those frost worms, but then again, gargoyles make a nice counter for uh, those dryads. So you just kind of have to play it smart. Sometimes mixing in a few destroyers, maybe a couple frost worms, and a few gar a few gargoyles might make a nice counter. Um, but nonetheless, uh, Zerder decides he's going to let his expansion die, which is unfortunate. I think he could probably scare scare off Crafty by using the TP, but you know, what the heck? Why not? He probably doesn't care. Um, yeah, you know what? I, I would so TP in there and save that. I don't understand why he didn't... He didn't do that. If he TP'd in, uh, Crafty might have TP'd out, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
But, you know, I'm not level 52 on Europe, so don't ask me. But, hey, what the hell. So anyways, uh, Crafty's con just continuing to construct more gargoyles. Um, that's what most undead players might do. Um, personally, uh, oh, it's too bad he doesn't get the, uh, slaughterhouse kill. But, um, personally, I would have, um, I would have saved that damn expansion. Sir, what the hell? Why didn't you do that, my friend? I'm going to have to ask you that. Oh, what the hell? No big deal. He's probably playing it smart. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry. To tell you the truth, why TP and save an expansion when you could uh, come back a little later? You know, he's probably just doing it smart. He's not trying to rush into it. He did buy a forest troll berserker. Um, those things are pretty nice. Um, I would have gone with uh, dryads instead, but, yeah, what the hell? Might as well get a berserker. Um. Oh, you guys have to excuse me. I'm yawning. I'm telling you. <clears throat> had a late night last night. Um. You know, the Pandaren Brewmaster. I just want to go over that nerf. Um. I wouldn't consider him not so good of a hero versus undead right now. Um. I consider him still pretty good. Because at level 5, he still rocks. But, unfortunately, you don't have that early game 50% slow like you did before. Which is pretty nice that, you know, if you're getting rushed, uh, sometimes the Panda Brewmaster, as soon as he pops out at tier 2, can save your ass. But, uh, no sweat, you know, what the hell. Anyways, Zerg's just going to go back and creep a little bit more. Still yawning like a motherfucker. Excuse me for that shit. Um, here comes Crafty's bringing his fat ass army of frost worms, destroyers, gargoyles. Pretty slick ass army. He's got his level three uh, sleepersaurus right there. Um, Azur is doing the right thing. He's focusing down on the, uh, the frost worm, but unfortunately, uh, the DK at level 5 just healed that badass up like it's no no problem at all. Oh, he healed him up twice. I mean, Zerder's getting his ass kicked right now. Um, but those bears are really making it hard for that DK to run around. Um, Dryads are dropping really fast due to gargoyles. Um, Breath of Fire was pretty slick. He did get that he did get that kill finally. He did kill off uh, his level 3 uh, Droid Lord. Did I call him a Sleeposaurus? That's like the stupidest goddamn name I've ever said in my life. What an insult in my last audio commentary to come up with something so retarded. Anyways, you guys have to forgive me. Um, I'm pretty tired. Um, I'm also pretty sad, too. This is my last audio commentary. I mean, you know, I like to be happy when I do my audio audios, but, you know, it's pretty much a downer. I'm really going to miss it. I'm going to miss all you mother effers. Better give me some pretty cool feedback, too. Like how much you guys are gonna miss me, um, <clears throat> and how much your sisters really want me. Anyways, um, back to what the uh, audio is doing. Okay, there's nothing really going on. Zerder's just selling shit. He's buying two TP scrolls for some reason. Um, I would have bought scroll protection, scroll of the Trojan condom, and uh, scroll of healing. That would have been a nice thing to have for those dryads. Um, no biggie. Uh, Zerd, right now, he's playing the money game. He's just going to throw down expansion and just walk around the map and make sure that um, that Crafty's not, the tr not trying to pull a fast one and stick up some expansion somewhere. Um, there's some downtime for Crafty. Mother Effa is level 6. He's got that Frostworm popping out. Um, this strategy, uh, as you can see, it's really freaking fun to use, man. It's really nice to be able to use something different than the standard Archer Talon, Dryad, Beastmaster first, Fire Lord second, or whatever people do these days for Sun Dead. Um, that really sucks, man. It's so freaking boring. And, um, uh, when you're doing something out of the ordinary, like bears, and you got rejuvenation and roar, and you got like two badass heroes with orb of venom, I mean that's hella fun, dude. It, like this strategy just is so much fun to use. I mean I had a great time using it, and going immolation and 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 mana burn, that's like 
That's some gosu ass shit. I mean, that's hella fun. So, I mean, that's one reason why I like using this strategy. Look at this fat ass bear surround. It's like, this guy's getting bitch slapped. But anyways, um, look at these gargoyles going down so fast to uh, Dryads and the Orb of Venoms. I mean, that's like some pretty nice anti-air right there. Um, those frost worms, as you can see, are really hard on those bears. But it, nonetheless, I mean, even though he's got the perfect counter for both units, it, um, the Night Elf imbalance still comes up ahead because of those heroes. Basically, you're doing what... Basically, this strategy is doing what undead players tend to do versus Night Elf. You're using your heroes to win the game. You're not using your units, you're using your heroes. Just like high-level nuke, now you've got your own high-level nuke. you got the anti-nuke, and you've got the slow, and the breath of fire, AoE, and, uh... Pretty nice. I mean, look at that. Level 4 Dreadlord goes down to that Breath of Fire. Um, Zerg, you're leaving a Dryad behind, buddy. Yeah, let's let's get that Dryad out of there. Let's not and say we did. Um, pretty nice. I mean, it's just a fun strategy to use, as you can see. Um, basically, he's doing the hit and runs. Uh, Zerg, you should be running at this point, that, or using a Staff of Preservation. Please buy pr Staff of Preservation next time. Okay. Well, anyways, um... Basically, the heroes are winning the game. Um, Demon Hunter's better than any... Let's, let's face it, Demon Hunter's better than any undead hero. Uh, Panda Brewmaster, complemented by the Demon Hunter, also very imbalanced versus undead. So you're basically... Um, basically doing what I've already told you a few minutes ago. You're, you're winning the game using your heroes. Um, unfortunately, both players lost their entire army, but uh, the good news is uh, Zerg has an expansion up, and he has another expansion going up, and uh, Crafty has nothing. And uh, that's because, uh, basically, he played the money game and he won. Um, at this point, what I normally would be doing is exactly what Zerg is doing, building more Dryads and uh, Bears. There's no point in building uh, Hippogriff at this point because then you'd have to mass a ton of them just to equal the anti-air of uh, destroyers and uh, gargoyles that that uh, Crafty already has. You know, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think uh, Frostworms do affect Hippogriff attack speed as well. I think they when they attack, they also slow down all the Hippogriff, so that would be a big mistake to try and um, use mass gargs I mean, use mass uh, hippogriff at this point versus uh, um, frostworm gargoyles. Not really necessary. Uh, you've got two heroes with nice or orb of venom, rejuvenation, and um, it's an all-around pretty fun strategy to use. Uh, down goes a gargoyle. Look at that. Two dryads and two heroes makes a uh, makes this undead dead guy run away. So it looks uh, pretty much like uh, Zerder's just trying to secure the victory here. Um, it's pretty obvious that, you know, being he has two expansions up, he's just scouting around the map and just playing the money game at this point. Uh, Crafty's having a hard time trying to, uh, trying to, trying to do anything at this point. Um, not much he can really do. Um, see, even Crafty realizes that this strategy is really, um, it's really broken. I wouldn't really say it's imbalanced. Um, it's very difficult for undead players to stop it, if done correctly. Um, because there's nothing really uh, you can do. You've got rejuvenation you're, uh, and uh, potions and and uh, scroll of healing on your hero. Uh, they're pretty much unkillable. And, uh, and mass dryads can take out... Um, can take out mass gargoyles and I don't mean on a date I'm talking about deadness look at this can't even kill that tree of eternity it's so imbalanced I'd be pretty pissed off but um... the nice thing to always get is nature's blessing versus uh... Gar versus undead they always tend to try and run in and kill buildings and crap like that but basically uh... Um, this is a real kick-ass strategy. Man, I'm gonna miss this game. I'm telling you. Just seeing this game wants, wants to, uh... make me come back and play. But I can't. Don't got the time. 
That's alright. You guys will play it and enjoy it for me. Zerger's one hell of a guy. It was really fun meeting that guy at WCG. He's a great guy. One hell of a player. And, um... <laughs> one thing he call, uh, Crafty called this Moonstrat. This is not Moonstrat, my friend. This is Mr. Cygnus' strat. This shit's old as hell. I've been doing it. Anyways, um... Quit your bitching, Crafty. Quit being a pussy. Take your ass open like a man. Um... God, Spear Moon, that guy is so ghostly, man. That's one thing I do love, is watching that guy play. That guy can beat your ass with, like, wisps. So... Yeah, I can't believe he beat, like... I mean, I don't want to talk no shit or nothing, but... Man, he beat one of the best human players in the world with his own goddamn units using Dark Ranger. I mean, that was some sexy shit. I'm sorry, Todd. I'll, much love for you, bro, but that's gotta hurt. I mean, if Todd ever did that shit to me, I would just jump across this podium and beat Spirit Moon's ass. <laughs> but, uh, I'd be pretty pissed off. But he's a real good, real good player. Um, and Crafty's pretty much doing all he really can at this point. Um, just trying to maybe try and keep uh, Zerter busy for a while and try and put up some kind of secret expansion somewhere. I don't really see how he can. Um, but, you know, you never should really give up. You never know if your opponent's going to disconnect. I mean, going to screw up. So, um, might as well just keep your head up and do the best you can until uh, the fat lady sings. So, uh... Sort of right now, just massing the hell out of Dryads. There's not really a point in making um, bears at this point. I really don't see why you would need to. All you need is uh, maybe some scrolls of healing, scrolls uh, whatever. Uh, Demon Hunter at level 6, uh, that's pretty hard to nuke. Being um, All you have to do is mana burn and use Metamorphosis, and his hit points are so freaking high that it's going to take a million nukes to try and kill that thing. And uh, Panda Brewmaster at level 5, being a strength, strength hero in general, has just about 1,100 hit points, so uh, there's no dying there. So, not really a point in any bears. Bears just make uh, easy experience targets for high-level heroes. So, um, no, point in, no point in doing that. So, uh... Right now, uh, Zerter's just being smart, sticking up expansions everywhere he pretty much can at this point. Um, that way he doesn't need to scout out for any secret expansions. Playing the money game here. Got those Akos pounding out and on a constructing tree. We got some uh, freaking gargoyles. Um, nothing much to talk about. Got Dryads tr chasing down uh, that Dreadlord. Crafty uh, trying to pray for a victory here or something like that. He's going to try and pull off a Spirit Moon and win with like two ac Acolytes and two heroes. <coughs> but anyways, um, yeah, you know, basically you guys get the idea of how fun this strategy is and how if done correctly, how it's just uh, really hard for undead players to stop. I mean, the only way to really, uh, for undead, for some undead player to really beat the strategy is to go dual crip rush at the beginning of the game and, and hope your opponent's close and he can't micro. Um, another way, I guess, is just going, um, I don't know, mass ghoul gargs and trying to out expand or something like that. I'm. You know, there's not really uh, much I can really say. Maybe going Fiends first and trying to go, uh... Fiends, A-bombs, plus, uh... Fiends, A-bombs, and, uh... Destroyers, if you can. Maybe a Frostworm if you have an expansion. But, you know, even that's hard to do. Um, I can't really offer too much advice for Undead players. I mean, this is pretty much, uh... You know, really, really hard strategy to counter. Um, and that's pretty much GG right here. I think after um, the animate dead wears off, he realizes that he's not going to do much about Zerter and his uh, expansion whoring right now. <coughs> so, uh, 
Come on, dude. Type GG so I can move on. Come on, Biatch. I don't think he's going to do it. Oh, well, what the hell. What a good game. That was fun. I'm going to go ahead and end it right now. If you guys want to watch the rest, you can. I don't think it really says anything. I'm just going to speed it up and check. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Come on, come on. He just leaves. Okay. Well, anyways, um... Yeah, I guess it was pretty much a uh, real honor to have my last audio commentary played by a friend of mine, uh, Zerter. Really good player. You know, it was nice to have uh, someone else show one of my strategies for once, and um, very well played. Very good game. And um, just want to say um, thanks again one more time. Just want to mention that um, I'm going to miss all you guys. Uh, it's really been fun, and uh, it's been a nice little journey and um, you guys have been great I really appreciate all your support and help and uh, thanks again everybody for listening and um, I don't know this uh, maybe it might not be the last time you guys hear from me but it's been a real pleasure and uh, good luck on your games I wish you all the best of luck um, and uh, just take care of yourselves alright this is Mr. C I'll Catch you guys later. Stay cool. Peace.